Interfectum, 600 milligrams, a serious painkiller for serious pain. When I got shot in the line of duty as a police officer, Interfectum was all I took for the pain. Interfectum kills your pain. Interfectum, 600 milligrams, a serious painkiller for serious pain. Raconteur Magazine says it is the best costume drama since the tragic affairs of Jonathan Nightingale. Elegance says it has more melodrama than the award-winning A Sudden Loss of Innocence. Silk and Lace gives it five handkerchiefs. Lords and Ladies continues with all new episodes. Castling Insurance Companies, because your home is your castle. For more information, call now, 555-CASTLE. This week, television is as fun as mirrors. Two days and two nights non-stop. The cult series Address Unknown. All the episodes, all the madness, in our return to Sender Marathon. A glass of Gold Touch Brandy to make you feel rich and famous. Hi, have we met before? Is this seat taken? <laughs> gold Touch Brandy. A taste of gold. Americans Avenger 9mm handgun when it's too late to protect your loved ones. No! 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 Americans Avenger for the payback time. To order now, call 555-GUN, and you will receive a year's worth of ammunition absolutely free. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh. Max Heat is back. Oh, baby. Oh, oh. Max Heat and Laura Norder in Max Heat 7. Late night adult entertainment after midnight. Pleased to meet you, dearest of all my friends. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vladimir Lenin. I invite you to the grand opening of my restaurant, Vodka. Come, make a scene. You will be seen. Clear as vodka. Vodka. Style, grace, and taste. Opening soon. Who's the man with nothing to lose? Who's the grimiest, cat-busting, metaphor-spewing, avenging badass in the ghetto? That's right. Dick Justice. Clean Sing Cleaning Products. After dirty business, come clean with us. Dial 555-CLEAN. That's 555-CLEAN. Clean Sing Cleaning Products. The choice of crime scene cleanup services. A boy. I don't mean to brag, but give me a bat and a zombie head, and I'll hit a home run every single time. A girl! Yawn. Wake me up when you're done trying to impress me. An army of freaking zombie demons from outer space. <sighs> and a whole lot of cartoon kung fu butt kicking. <laughs> the Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! In the Brooklyn School for the Blind, we know that seeing is not the same as believing. The Brooklyn School for the Blind. Our doors are open. Hi. You've called Dangerous Liaisons. Call 555-PSSY when you want to do more than just talk. Dangerous Liaisons. Our girls are eager to hear from you.
My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels? He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel. One night, I woke to a knock at my door. Someone slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. I descended into a mystery, desperate to catch him, to find my girlfriend, to save her. A labyrinth of my doubles making from one prison nurse. Welcome back to our return to Sender Marathon. Two days and two nights of the 90s cult series, Address Unknown. All the episodes in a row. A real descent to madness. I was lost in the streets of Noir York. The city had swallowed Mira and my girlfriend. I was part of some elaborate game, complex for its own sake. <laughs> Every time I looked over my shoulder, I saw a shadow disappearing behind the corner, or the glint of binoculars in a window. They were spying on me, following my every move. When Mira killed again, the map of the city changed. Like a shifting glacier, a new crack appeared with every gunshot. I had abandoned all conventional methods of navigation, I was following the bloody signs he kept leaving me, and he was watching me do it. The next episode of Address Unknown, right after the break in our Return to Sender Marathon. Address Unknown continues. Wherever I went, the payphones started to ring. Finally, I collected enough courage to answer one. John! You must run! He's coming after you! He wants to catch you! They're closing in! John, I love you! Don't give up! I wasn't gonna give up on her. I could hear her voice in my head wherever I went, guiding me. I traced my double to a classy uptown nightclub, Pink Flamingo. It was happy hour. They were serving flamingo cocktails. Somehow the flamingo was tied to my double. A stripper in the bar looked just like my girlfriend. Mira's men had found me. I ran. Stop him! There he goes! Stop him! You can't escape! We're coming to take you away! You have nowhere to run! Mira was an influential figure in Noir York. His men chased me. They wore white uniforms. They looked so clean. They chased me in black vans with the logo of the Flamingo on them. I ran. Mira's men had caught me. Their black van took me out of the city. The countryside was sickingly pretty. The sun setting on a sweet summer day, rain sparkling on grass, birds in the trees, children playing. Ah, the Pink Bird Mental Institute. Mira's men pretended to be hospital wardens. The flesh, the flesh. I think I died. I think I'm dead. I don't know. I don't know. Death is coming! It's coming! They're here! They're here! Get away! Get away! I'm 
gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you. They said I was an escaped mental patient. Diagnosis? Paranoid schizophrenic. You are insane. Psychotic. You have to eat plenty of pills to get better. They lied that I had killed my girlfriend. John Mira came to mock me in the bathroom mirror. <laughs> the flamingo was with him. Mira's heart more but than television. Mira claimed my girlfriend had turned evil, joined him. She has died her carrot. I smashed the mirror. I'd kill them all. Stay tuned as Address Unknown continues. Address Unknown continues. a tumor in your brain. It's making you mad. We're forced to operate aggressively. The fake doctors were trying to confuse me, saying I was John Mira, pumping me full of drugs. No, no. None of that. Give it back. He's you. He has the drill. Restrain him. No, no. All right now, easy, easy, just hand it over. There's a good boy. Hey, stay back. No! I was in charge, but still woozy from the drugs. I had to escape. I couldn't let them stop me. Death is coming. It's coming. He's coming. Get away. Get away. The mind-bending finale in our return to Sender Marathon, the last episode of Address Unknown ever. The poet Poole, in his poem, Somebody's Been Wearing My Face Again, wrote, In this hall of mirrors, built by liars, I am a pale reflection of myself. I had escaped from the Pink Bird Mental Institute. I was lost in Noir, York City. I couldn't find my way back home. John Mira had made me a killer. I had become him, John Mira. Maybe I had always been him. John Mira? Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. <laughs> Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy, Episode 165, 
Captain Baseball Bat Boy's girlfriend. Yeah, She's not my girlfriend. Captain Baseball Bat Boy's arch nemesis. That's more like it. Bicycle Helmet Girl has been kidnapped by the villainous Maxwell's demon. Get your hands off me, you ugly freak. <laughs> to save her, Captain Baseball Bat Boy must battle through a horde of demons' minions, the freaking zombie demons from outer space. <laughs> Bases loaded. <laughs> Fastball! <laughs> Ugh, foul ball! Grand slam! <laughs> hi -ya! Captain Baseball Bat Boy has hit a home run! But can he find Maxwell's demon's secret lair before the game is over? <laughs> Find out in the next episode of The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Go! The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy, Episode 167. <laughs> Maxwell's demon has taken Bicycle Helmet Girl to his secret mothership, hidden behind the moon. To save her, Captain Baseball Bat Boy must brave the cold void filled with demons' nefarious minds. Bases loaded. Fastball! <laughs> Grand Slam! Once more, Captain Baseball Bat Boy has escaped Demon's Trap. But can he save Bicycle Helmet Girl before Maxwell's Demon turns the world into a dreaded closed system? A Hollywood franchise that goes perpetually on forever? Go! Find out in the next episode of The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Go! The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Episode 169. <laughs> The final battle between Maxwell's Demon and Captain Baseball Bat Boy in the Demon's secret mothership hidden on the dark side of the moon. Bicycle Helmet Girl dangles helplessly in a cage above a pit of poison shards of frozen fire. Chauvinist! Maxwell's Demon flaps its black, leathery wings as it attacks, alternately firing slow missiles and fast rays. At Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Bases loaded. Grand Slam. Go. The last inning in the next episode of the Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy. decided to take a piss at the same time. In a situation like mine, you can only think in metaphors. They had killed the love of my life. They were going to pay.
stranded in the dark and violent night. Dick Justice, a lone, hard-boiled fugitive cop, framed for the murder of his wife, on a quest for vengeance through the criminal underworld in the city's heart of darkness. <laughs> The night was grim as death. I felt right at home. Dope peddling murderers in their expensive suits were crawling out of the woodwork all around me. The only suits they were going to wear after tonight were body bags. It's Dick Justice! Get him! Get the freaking cop! Your trial will be held at the city morgue. I had a permanent, constipated grimace on my face. I was revenge personified. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's my man. Yeah, Chef Bone. My lady, wait. My lord. My lady, this is a surprise finding you here. Were you looking for me by chance? My lord, I... I was... Oh, this is so difficult. My lady? My lord, I came to see you, but now that I am here, I can see that this was a dreadful mistake. My lady, no. Surely I... My lord, I should go. Should anyone see us together, your reputation would be ruined. My lady, stay. My lord, please, forgive me. My lady! After the break, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies. Lords and Ladies brought to you in part by Gold Touch Brandy. Going somewhere, little brother? My Lord Jack, what on earth? Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you... Are you spying on me? Hardly conduct fit for a Lord? Not so, if the other one is no Lord to begin with. It is not I whose actions are in question here, Valentine. Where do you think you are going at this ungodly hour? Who put you up to this shameful errand? Mama? Leave our parents out of this. Papa, the esteemed Sheriff of York, was well on his way to recovery from the consumption when the news of you carrying on with that wench, a pirate's daughter, no less, brought about his relapse. Border dash! Soon Papa will be dead because of you. And I will be the head of the family. Continue seeing her at your own peril. Are you threatening me, my lord? I will cut you off, Valentine. That and worse. I bid you good night, brother. That and worse, brother. <laughs> that and worse. Now, Lords and Ladies continues. Mama, I tried to stop him, but he is beyond reason. Valentine has gone to a rendezvous with his mistress, the harlot. She is no lady. Oh, good, good, Jack, my son. Jack, my favorite son. You have done right in turning to me in this distasteful affair. Mama, tell me what to do and I will do it. Anything to save our name from disgrace? Yes, good, good. That witch has made my valentine blind with love. 
she must be stopped. Jack, my boy, our name, our line is pure, precious, holy. It must be preserved at any cost. Anyone who threatens it is our mortal enemy. They must be stopped by any means. The honor of the whole of York is at stake. Yes, Mama. Yes, good, good. By any means. Even murder is a rightful course. She is a criminal. Yes, Mama. I am so proud of you, Jack, my precious son. You will lift our name to new glorious heights. Truly, you are a lord. Yes, Mama. Good, good. Do what is necessary. Now go to the harlot's house. Ride like the wind. Fight proud, my son. Yes, Mama. Good, good. An all-new episode of Lords and Ladies. Brought to you in part by Castling Insurance Companies. My lord, I will marry her. My mind is made up. She will be my lady. Over my dead body, brother. That harlot will never soil our family name. You have no right to call yourself a lord. I am here to do the duty of a sheriff's heir. You have insulted my lady for the last time, my lord. I demand satisfaction. As you wish, little brother. Hang out! No, my lord, nothing good can come of this. Villain! My lord, I beg of you. My lord, brother, heed her words. Maybe we can yet solve this peacefully. Have at thee! No! My lord! Brother! What have you done? Brother... You have slain me. My lord, we are lost. My lady, what have I done? All is lost. What have I done? Lords and Ladies continues after the break. Lords and Ladies continues. My lord! I have slain my brother. All is lost. I am a lord no more. Men, capture them. Your word is our command, my lady. Mama? Yes, good, good. My precious boy, a noble lord is dead, a vile crime against our illustrious name. A crime that shall not go unpunished. My lord! Unhand her, you brutes! Yes, good, good. Men, let her go. Aye, my lady. Good, good. My dear girl, you seem faint. Do sit down. Rest. Here, a glass of wine. Drink. It will bring color back to your cheeks. Thank you, my lady. No! Do not drink, my lady. Valentine. My lord. Allow me. Mama, I drink to the memory of my brother. My lady, I drink for you. No, my son, that is not for you. Uh, men, stop him! Too late. I have swallowed the bitter poison. I am dead so that my lady can live. With this deed, I prove myself a lord. My lord? No! Fire! Fire is loose! My lord! 
my lady. Go! Run! Live! Mama! You are no lady. No, no, my son, no! Aha! The season finale of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Cleansing Cleaning Products. I fled into the night. Behind me, in the darkness, the manor house burned like Nero's Rome. My Lord Valentine taught me who I was. He showed me life, the meaning of being a lady took me out to the world waiting beyond the secluded garden of my childhood home. He gave me the seed that grew into my greatest treasure. Mama, Mama! My little Valentine. It happened years ago, but I can still hear the voice of my Lord calling out to me, saying, My lady. My lady. Heat is back. Excuse me, sir. Could you give a small town girl some directions? This is my first time in the city. Oh, sir. I guess everything is bigger here. Oh, can I try it? Oh, I can't help myself. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, give it to me. Oh, give it to me. Oh, 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 yes. Give it to me. Oh, baby. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, yes. Don't stop. Oh, don't stop. Oh, yes. Oh, give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, oh baby. Max Heat and Laura Norder in Max Heat 7. Precinct Police Station when Mona Sachs, wanted for the murder of Senator Gate, escaped from custody. The bomb itself caused no casualties due to the heroic efforts of the police officers present at the time, but the lives of two officers and several felons in custody were lost in the subsequent shooting. Lieutenant Jim Bravora stressed that Sachs is armed and extremely dangerous. The NYPD is conducting an investigation into the allegations that Sachs had inside help in her escape. And an APB has also been put out on Detective Max Payne, who had already been suspended and under investigation on previous misconducts and connections to Sachs. Enforcement sources say that organized crime is to blame for the recent surge of violence throughout the city. Allegedly tied to the Valkyr scandal of 2001, these acts are thought to be part of the criminal underworld's vendetta against the New York City Police Department. Lieutenant Jim Bravora, who was leading the investigation, became a victim of a shooting earlier tonight. He remains in hospital care and is said to be in stable condition. The NYPD has been placed on full alert, and according to our source, the guilty will be, quote, found and brought to justice, unquote. 
For NYNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. Stop. Stop. Wait. Stay out of this, Max. You're only making it worse. You've been suspended. She's one of them. She's here to kill me. I'm doing my duty. She is a fugitive murder suspect. I'm taking her in. She resists. She gets shot. Easy. Back off, Payne. No, Mona. Winterson. Gunfire! This way, fast! Go. Go, run. Mona. Over here! Hold it! Ah! Detective Winterson! Officer down! He went over the edge! Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. You win. You win. Just let me go. You, you can have it all. The gun trade. Freaking all of it. Just don't kill me. Vincent, dearest of all my friends, let's play a little game. You're into games, right? The rules are simple. For every answer you get right, I'll remove a good part of the explosives taped to your head. You get them all right, you are free to go. Sounds good? Okay. Okay. And given your current attire, all the questions will be about your favorite TV show. All right. Ready? The first question. What is the name of the big bad in Captain Baseball Bat Boy? Maxwell's Demon! Maxwell's Demon! Easy! <laughs> well done, Vincent. And now, as promised. Congratulations! That's half of the bomb gone. One more right answer and you are home free. All right. All right, I can do this. I can do this. What's the question? Who is the original creator of Maxwell's Demon? Back to Entropy, of course. Oh, no, 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 wait. What do you mean? For real? The, the show's writer, Sammy Waters. Impressive, Vincent. But, unfortunately, incorrect. <laughs> Maxwell's Demon was created by James Clerk Maxwell, a 19th century British physicist. Jeez. Unfair! Oh, man! You, you gotta give me another chance! Vinny, Vincent, I would love to, but rules are rules. No, 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 please, no, please, don't kill me, don't kill me, no, 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 please! Have no fear, Vlad is here. Mona Sachs. Vladimir Lem, Gate is dead. That was to be expected, no hard feelings. It's not too late, my darling. Join me and all's forgiven. We would make a brilliant couple. I am the king, and you could be my queen. <laughs> In your dreams. Ah! See? You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Get her! Get the bitch! 